Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to install OpenVPN on your Debian download machine. But first things first, a little refreshment. Bud Light, late house beer, because it's blinking near water. Okay, as you know by this point, if you're following this tutorial, my download server is in fact a virtual machine, and it's a virtual machine based in Hyper-V under Windows. So what I'm going to actually do, as I've said before, with any step when you're upgrading a download server or something that is critical to you, you want to take a snapshot, or in the case of Hyper-V, a checkpoint. Obviously this is one of the benefits of not actually using a physical machine, is that it's very simple and very quick to create a backup. This will allow us that if we make any mistakes we can go back to the working machine that we know we had. Now with that checkpoint taken, I will double click on my server to open it up. And then when it lets me, this one has an IP address of 192.168.0.66. That will come in handy later on. With that in mind, let's install OpenVPN. And you do that, it's apt get oh, install OpenVPN. It's saying it's going to take an additional 10 mega of disk space and it's going to download 3.5 mega of archives. Do I wish to continue? So I'm going to say yes. And we'll give that a moment to download. I will point out that you actually require an OpenVPN compliant. VPN service for this. There are multiple ones available out there. They do cost money, but if you're going to run a download server, especially if you're going to be downloading nefarious material for your Plex server or your Kodi box, the extra $2 or £2 a month is well worth investing. If you have, as I have, a newsgroup service, they usually offer it for literally an extra dollar or two that you'd be paying for your monthly newsgroup service anyway. So now with that installed, clear the screen. We change to the using CD, which is change directory, etc slash open VPN folder. And if we do dir in here, we can see we have client, server, and update resolve.conf. Now at this point, what you'll have to do is you'll have to download the configuration file for your VPN service. You may be able to do one of these manually, but that's a rather advanced task. So generally, if you simply Google open VPN providers or cheap VPNs, something like that, you'll get what you're looking for. I have generally found out that you do get what you pay for though. So let's try and get our config file downloaded first of all. As you can see in front of me, I've went to the help and support site of my VPN provider and you click on Install and configure OpenVPN. It tells you the instructions on how to get the latest version of OpenVPN. But the part that we are actually interested in is way down here. This part here, download the zip file containing the config file .ovpn and .pem from here. So we would click that link, let it download the information. We would then save that onto our server. Now what we could do is we can right click and copy it. So copy link address. In order to download the file, you use wget space and then you enter the URL that you were given. It'll take a moment to download. And then once it's downloaded, you can see that there is a zip file that is in that folder where you were. So in this case, etc slash openvpn. And now we need to unzip that. Because this is a zip file, we should download unzip. So apt get install unzip. If I can spell it correctly. Okay, now that I've unzipped it, as you can see, I now have a gwi.iadl.ovpn. That is my config file. I also have a certificates folder with a srl.pem inside it, which is my certificate. 
So these are the files that we'll be using to connect to OpenVPN. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.